Hi and welcome to C Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to do something we haven't done in a long time. We're going to have a seafood dinner. So we're going to have, so with it you're going to need, so we're going to make baked tilapia. Okay, we're going to have to have tilapia. I picked frozen. We, you need some butter spray. A lemon. Mustard. Season salt, pepper, onion, canned milk, butter, breadcrumbs, and parsley. Mm. Talk about a big science experiment. And we are going to get all this together. Mm -hmm. Let's get a saute pan. <laughs> We need some, a little bit of depth here. Okay, we will get this. All right, get you a pan. Cook it on, turn it on to medium heat. And take four tablespoons of butter and start melting it. In our case, we use Imperial. Four tablespoons of butter we need to melt that and take your butter spray and spray oh we are going to be cooking this in the Nesco okay that's it for the butter spray mm. all right you want a half an onion Pick your favorite onion. It doesn't matter if it's white, red, purple, white, brown, whatever. Green with purple polka dots. <laughs> Just kidding. As long as it's an onion. Cut it small. Dice your onion. And put it right in with the butter. Okay, that's all we need for the butter. All right, now let's open the tilapia. All right. And you need to now <laughs> believe it or not I did pull the top yet earlier but it is still frozen so and that's okay when it's cooked in the Nesco it'll be plenty thought all right put your top here in the bottom of your pan. And where I bought my tilapia from. It's individually wrapped, and I kind of like that because it makes it for easier to work with. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna 
check on the onions. Cook the onions on medium heat for about three to five minutes. All right, now take your, uh, your lemon and cut it in half. Get out your strainer and squeeze your lemon, run it over your fish, over your tilapia, throw that out. This will prevent any seeds from getting in there. This is a handy little tool to have. So take your whole lemon and there. That's all. That's a big old pile of trash. Okay, so rub your lemon across the top of your fish. And now I need to kind of wash my hands. Okay, now, well, I forgot to get the cans. All right, now, if you want it, for those of you who are celery lovers like me, if you want to add a half cup of celery to it, feel free to. Open your can now. Okay, look in the pan right here. Look in this, okay? See the milk is all, the butter's all melted and the butter flavor has got into the onions. Now you don't want to cook this to be brown or anything. So now you're going to take your next, take your fingers, take a pinch of your seasoned salt, two pinches, and put it on top of your onions. <coughs> and then you want to do a crack of pepper We're flavoring the onions. We're done with that and we're done with that. All right, now I need a spoon. And for those of you like me who know mustard, <laughs> I always mix it before I use it. Otherwise, when it comes to the mustard, you're gonna get when it comes to the bottom of your mustard, it's going to be kind of yucky, so. Now, I'm going to go get a small teaspoon so I can fit down inside the mustard. A small enough, the little ice cream spoons will do it. Okay, here we go. Here's a small, a teaspoon. <coughs> All right, now we're going to take a teaspoon, two teaspoonfuls of mustard and put it in there. We're trying, to, we're wanting to get the mustard flavor. Okay, now we're done with the mustard. I'm putting that back. I don't ever pull up the top. When I bought these in the past, pulled up the top and squeezed it. When it came down to the bottom, the mustard wasn't that good. So now I always open it up and do that. Okay, now. I'm going to stir the, now stir your mustard and your butter and your salt and your pepper all to get the onions more, to get an onion flavor through there. Okay, now we're going to take a can of evaporated milk. Don't use whole milk. You want to use evaporated milk because for some reason in evaporated milk it works really good in a sauce. Okay, pour the whole can, which is 12 fluid ounces, of evaporated milk, then stir it. I'm still on five. Okay, now I'm going to get the parsley. Okay, we want to get the green flavor into it, so we want to use about a quarter of a cup of parsley to a half a cup of minced parsley. 
Okay, see that? I, that gives the parsley that flavor. Okay, now we're gonna stir again. You wanna cook that three to five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put this all away and I'm gonna go and get my basil. Basil, basil, basil. My basil. Okay, got some oregano. All right, then put in two pinches of basil. Mm -mm. I'm going to put all this away, what I've used. Anytime I use anything, I always like to kind of put it back away. Alright. Now, preheat your oven to 350 degrees at this point. 300 what? 50. <coughs> All right. Now I've had to open up a fresh breadcrumbs, which is good. And I need a spoon for the breadcrumbs. Nice one. There we go. Okay. Now, your oven is preheating to 350. Your milk and all your sauces are working together. Okay, you have your basil, you have your parsley, you have your salt and pepper. You just want to get the milk hot. So you want to heat it up three to five minutes until it's hot. You don't want to get it brown, you don't want to make it into a sauce because it's got more cooking. This is just to get all of the ingredients together and it feels like it's up. Okay, now take all this and pour it over your fish. This is going to flavor your fish. Pour it over your fish. Okay, until your fish is covered. Now, if you're cooking more fish, feel free to add more sauce. If you're cooking less, then feel free to have less sauce. Okay, now take, now it's time for your breadcrumbs, okay? I'm using seasoned breadcrumbs. Take your hand, okay, take your spoon in this case, because the breadcrumbs always needs a bit of stirring to get going here. All right, now you want to take and put a layer of breadcrumbs on top of your fish. You want to get a good layer of breadcrumbs. And cook it uncovered, don't cook it covered. Because you want all this to melt together. You want to make sure you can't see any fish. Because you don't want your fish drying out. Okay, now, Let's put this in our preheated oven. In our case, our Nesco. This is a great fish recipe for your Nesco. Okay, be careful not to get burnt. Okay, see it in the Nesco? Now, it's going to cook there from 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to check it in exactly 20 minutes. And then if it's done, we're going to shake it out and we're going to taste it and we're going to eat it. If it needs five more minutes, you do that. It depends upon the amount of fish you have and everything. Now, it, I should be done in 20 minutes because it's only four pieces of fish. Okay, so I'm going to see you in 20 minutes. All right, welcome back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Let's Take a peek at the magic event. And when you're opening this, so you don't get steam in your face or hurt in your face, pick it up and open it facing away. See that? See the steam come out so you don't get burnt. Okay, it's so all done. Turn off your 
thingamabob. Your Nesco, in our case it's a rival court roasting oven. I've got a Nesco sitting over there too, so I don't know why I call it a Nesco. Okay, and I'm putting that safely away. And I'm using gloves. Picking it up. Putting it on the table. And my roasting, rival roasting oven is still clean. I'm putting Z cover back on it so it doesn't get burnt because the inside is hot. There we go, nice and safe. And I'm going to get a spatula out of there. Okay, now for the testing time. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now let's pick up the fish. Put the fish on the plate. Put a second fish on the plate put we had four pieces of fish if you remember and voila see now be careful not to get burnt keep that safely out of the way because that pan is hot and now <coughs> testing time we're going to get me a drink see it's very hot very hot very very hot so let's sit a minute I'm going to get some water. All right, I'm going to let David taste test first and then I'm going to taste test. So that way he can say hi to you folks. That way I'll finish the closure. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm getting a drink. That's right. I'm going to make you watch me get a drink. <clears throat> I'm going to, no, I don't want that drink. I want, I want this drink. I want this drink right here. Because this is on the top shelf, this top shelf stuff right here. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you want to add, um, Mmm, that one. Tartar sauce with it, feel free. But it's got plenty of sauces on it. See how beautiful that looks? Oh, that looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. Okay. See, see I'm, I'm, making you, I'm making you look at it. <laughs> you see? You see this? You see, I'm making you look at it. You didn't want to blow on it because that looked like it was pretty hot. How do you like it? Very. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. You know what? I'm not sure what to say, but my, my mom might be able to better articulate articulate this. Uh, it's very interesting flavor. Very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna cut up some pieces. This is <clears throat> tilapia. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of fish. Do I have to blow on it? It looks pretty. You don't need to blow on it. Mmm, it doesn't need tartar sauce. Mmm, it's full of flavor. It's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. What? No, give it a try, definitely give it a try. It's absolutely stunning. So y'all know I'm, I'm eating mine right now off camera. But see, here's the proof. Selfie me eating this. Well, try the tilapia this way or maybe a little more for flounder, but my mm. idea was for tilapia or baked fish. If it's not done in 20 minutes, give it another five minutes for 25 minutes, 350 degrees. Okay, Ho hope you enjoy this new type of baked tilapia and it's yummy to the tummy so thank you for watching hugs and kisses from my family to you 
As always, we love you and we're grateful to all of our viewers and subscribers. Check out the link down below. See you next video. The fun never ends in the world of Sea Sparkles Corner. Bye, everybody.